On this week's episode of Hunt United, we're going all over the country. We'll be in Missouri, checking cameras and planning food plots with Realtree Land Pros Ryan Wascom and Slade Priest. And then we'll be going to Wisconsin to check in with Realtree Land Pros Travis Homley and Jason Science as they get ready for the season in Wisconsin. Then, to top it off, we're going to be heading out to Wyoming, the Cowboy State, with Realtree Land Pro Dustin Jelliff as he tries to get it done with his longbow. Nothing like the first first car pulls of the year, because I know there's some shooters on this camera right here. That's a goofy rack, but God, no. this place has got some deer. Oh, big one, big one. <laughs> big 10, double split brows, and maybe a split two. Cub, we're going to be on this. Don't tell Ryan about that one. That's mine. You know as an out-of-state landowner, anytime, you know, it's 14 hours from the house up here. So when Bear Cub and I came up here this, this spring turkey hunting, you know, we put these cameras out. Yeah, they got some weeds in front of the cameras and we weren't able to maintain them, but already we have, I think, five or six shooters on the farm and we're not even done checking the cameras. So, hey, we've got our inventory started and this fall is gonna be jam up. Boom, son. Hunt United is gonna be on fire. Should be a really good spot. Last year we had a stand right here, but we didn't see a lot of deer right here because we had a food plot right across here. But there's a hill right here, we'll show it in just a second. There's a hill right there, it's gonna seclude this little area. And we're not putting our plot in over here, we're gonna put it here so we can access it better. But I had a really good encounter right there with a deer last year, so hopefully uh, he comes right back out here and we can make it happen this year. We've got about five acres kind of split. You know, we're gonna be primarily bow hunting. We'll do some rifle hunting, but we've got this little finger right here. So, you know, we're planning on where we can kill a deer. Of course, we've got a little funnel right here where this finger comes down. We're gonna put all trophy acre on all five acres, and then I'm gonna show a little bit, throw a little bit of this sugar rush in there to get a couple extra sugar beets. I've never been around a whole lot of sugar beets, but everybody I know who uses them loves them, so we're gonna give them the test this fall. Let's get them loaded up. All right, we are getting the seed in the ground. My favorite part. Slade, I was thinking we got our plot here and a plot there on, on this side here, this funnel right here in between, it's gonna be perfect to put a camera up right here. I think so too. If you look, this is like right in the middle of the farm. Yeah. We'll put a camera here and another one down there. Put a little bit of that game changer out. Yep. That'll I'll get work. the game changer. You get yep. that. Put it up right here. Y'all record, that's the most work you'll see him do right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got that? I think we're pretty good. I'm gonna angle right here. The game changer. I smell a 160 coming in. Smell like a rack boat. Yeah. You know, we learned so much from this farm last year. We've got the stand right there. We're going to move it right here, a little less intrusive. That's right. Catch this gap. Ryan killed his right. big deer. Yeah. Yeah. Just straight up on the hill up there. Up on top. And then he's done, baby. Had the other encounter with him right there mm -hmm. with Nelly. So. Hammer. And he's still alive. Absolutely. Maybe he'll die right here.
nice little food plot when it's done. On top of this ridge, the last piece over there, a couple big ridge systems pointing up to here. Yeah. Now this will be the third year I've been chasing that thing. He is a tank and a half. Feel the body on him. I know. Look at the little guy next to him. I know. The little guy next to him is actually a decent little yearling. He's got potential. God, he just looks the frame. Ryan, we're gonna pull in here to the uh, Real Tree United Country office here in Bethany. Tony and Fred are in there. Fred, I know Fred very well. The deer, you remember I told you last year my deer jumped on Fred. That's the Fred. Okay. Big deer hunter, the epitome of a land pro. I mean, he's a big hunter. You know, done done a lot in the farming business. Sells a lot of properties. He's actually been a, a number one agent with United Country before. So I mean, he sells he some property. What's up, Mr. Fred? Hey, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. you Tony, you doing all right? Yeah, Fred. How you doing? Brian Good to see you. Fred Bennett. Brian, Tony Nelson. Nice Glad to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Well, I know, you know, in years past, y'all have had some EHD problems and stuff up here, but the deer seem to be doing really good. Yeah, it was uh, Harrison County. They haven't found any problem with uh, with the CWD. Now, the mm -hmm. EHD you're talking about, that we had that, but that's been a few years ago. So right. we got a really good population of deer that's again. Good. We have low taxes, 250 to 350 an acre on our ground. We have good deer, really good deer. We have, it's a very rural community, so uh, you have a lot of corn and beans and things that the deer need to get big. Right. Uh, and we do have a lot of non-resident, I mean, I, that's typically who I sell to is people from way away from here. So. Appreciate hey, y'all having Thank you, good to see you. I have a rule up here, don't make a sale, make a friend. That's right, that's right. right. <laughs> I've been shooting a long bow since I was eight, ten years old. A lot of work goes into it. It's not like, uh, like they say, riding a bicycle. Um, you've pretty well got to shoot all year round. It's going to be a quite an experience. I'm ready to get started.
Look at this. Alright, there he is. Sweet brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Oh, check out the ball mason on that buck. Nice, nice palmation. Pretty jacked about it, especially with the bow, long bow. Yep, pretty happy. He just showed up when that velvet started dropping. Hmm. That's cool. That is a cool deer, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. This week's featured property comes from Northwest Missouri. This 198 acres and home located in Harrison County is a true sportsman's paradise. The almost 130 acres of timber is sure to hold plenty of game. The CRP on the track holds plenty of game and gives you additional areas to put more food plots. So if you're looking for a place with an awesome camp and a place to grow big deer and a lot of turkeys, you want to check out this 198 acres in Northwest Missouri. If you like this property or properties like this anywhere in the country, check out RealtreeUC.com. I'll be your bow caddy. All right. I ain't gonna lie. I have not exactly shot a whole lot this summer. Hello. Well, cuz, I think we had a pretty productive day. I think we're good. We have. We've had a great day. All the food plots are planted. I tell you, what we learned from hunting up in this area last year and access and where to put the plots, it's gonna be a game changer this year. Oh, 100%.